I'm pretty sure today is the proudest I've ever been to be an American, having learned that somewhere in this great country of ours, there is a statue of the Fonz cast in bronze. It's in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact, as some of us learned tonight, and Anne's daily double loss is all of our gain. On another note, uh, I put up a survey today asking you what you want to see on the final wager next year. Do you want to see more interviews? Do you want to see more random trivia? Do you want to see me do something completely different? Do you want to see me wear a wig again? Probably not. But if you do, go to this link and let me know. Alright, we have an interesting situation here. Rooks didn't like that daily double wager on the anti-penultimate clue with uh, a $2,000 clue in the wings. Going for 3,000, missing that, and uh, falling below half of Kurt's total, so that might come into play. Let's start with uh, Kurt doubling up. If he doubles up, he's going to have 27.2, so to cover that, and we'll have to wager 12.4. She misses with that wager, and she'll go with 2,400, 2,399. So that means Kurt can wager up to 11-2. And Rooks can wager up to 4,200. Now, what happens if Rooks doubles up? If she doubles up, she's going to have 13,200. So Kurt, because, she, because Kurt has more than double Rooks' score, he can wager a stay above her. And that will be 399 at most, so 400 will save for now. And if he does that, Rooks is pretty much sunk. The problem is we're not in Shores conjecture situation because Kurt can't cover a zero wager by Ann. That would require a wager of 1,200. So if Ann thinks that Kurt's going to go for this 400 amount, if he's right at 14,000, it means she could wager up to 800 and win. Any mind games other than that? Yes, uh, Rooks goes for this 4,200 amount. She will have 10,8. So to stay above that, Kirk could wager up to 2,800. And then to cover that, uh, add 2,800. 16,4. And could wager 1600. That would fall down to Rooks' score. And maybe not worth the effort. And of course, I would cover a uh, unsafe wager by Ann if I were here. So, a few ranges for everybody, except for Rooks. She's pretty much stuck. What happened? We start with Rooks, who missed and went a little bit too big, 5,000. Over to Kurt, who missed and wagered just 399, so that leaves the door open for Anne, who missed and wagered 13,601. <clears throat> Too much by 1,200. That actually would have, might have given Rooks the victory. It cost Anne $1,000 by wagering that extra 1,200. And uh, no three time champion once again. Yesterday we had a new record set for the number of consecutive games without a five timer 86. Today's 87, tomorrow's going to be 88. And now I think we're at, uh, tomorrow will be 18 games without a three-time champion. Slowly approaching the podium on that one, too. Oh, well. <clears throat> we'll see what happens tomorrow, and maybe I will uh, have miraculously healed. Take care. See you on the final wager.